Christ, the time has finally come. All right, let's just come out with a brand new update. And what? They added sushi? Which is like literally my favorite food, by the way. But dude, that sounds so sick. Okay, so dude, it's actually been quite a while since we've had an Islands update. But I don't even know what there is to check out. Like what? I was looking through my bloody crafting bench and I couldn't even find anything. So I have a feeling that there is something crazy waiting for me at the hub. So let's see. What do we got over here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dude, they got rid of the Halloween update, but everything is still different. What am I even looking at right here? This is so cool. All right, well, let's see what do we what do we got over here. So actually, I need to check out what is actually in this update. Okay, so it seems like to me pretty much everything they've added is related to cooking. So if I go into here, what am I looking at right here? What is new? Now, from what I can see, there's actually nothing new in here. Oh, wait, but there is some cool status effect now with the food. Look, deviled eggs give you 25% mining drop yield, which gives you like 25% luck, which that's actually really good. 20% luck when fishing from a candy apple. That is some cool stuff right there. 50% more output when crafting carpentry station. What? 20% break speed from tomato soup. That is actually so useful. What? Oh my God. 10% crop seed yield multiplier. There is some really good stuff in here. 25% more damage to mobs. 20% reward luck when mining. 50% chance for mobs to drop coins on death. What? 30% chance for to catch two fishes at once. Dude, there is some crazy stuff they've added here. That is a lot of different status effects, actually. All right, guys. So what I'm going to actually have to do next up is I think I'm going to have to get myself a food crafting station because actually, I honestly haven't even really used one in a very, very long time. All right, let's see. Cooking table. I don't think I've ever crafted one of these on this, on this save slot. Oh, actually, I have a cooking table. Okay, here, let's see. Let's see. What do we have in here? Now, I want to see some of that sushi. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, my God. 25% luck in combat. 25% tree fruit harvest yield. Eat for 10% more output when crafting food. That sounds really good. 5% coins when selling to merchants. There is some crazy good stuff in here. Now, I actually have literally no um XP for cooking at all on this save slot. Now, I don't think I have any XP for cooking on any save slot, to be honest. Here, I'll quickly check one of my other ones, but I think I have no XP for cooking anywhere because it's always been useless. It's always been useless to cook stuff, but now it definitely isn't anymore. There is some crazy stuff in there, kind of like the pepper. Oh, you can get the speed boost. There's a lot of stuff kind of like that now, which is kind of sick. Okay, craft the palm planter to grow rice and seed. Oh, oh, so you say there is new seeds. Add the quest log. Okay, there is a lot of really cool stuff now. So yeah, there's the quest journal as well, which I haven't even gotten the time to check out yet. Cooking level one. Dang it. All right, guys. So we're back here now. So let's see. There should be a lot of cool stuff to check out. All right. Let's see what we got right here. So seeds. Is there now rice seeds? Oh my God, there is farming level 39. But dude, that is by far now the highest level. And I think also most expensive seed you can buy. That is by far the most expensive seed that you can buy. That is so cool. Now guys, one thing that doesn't make me very excited is that it sells for 24 coins. What? A carrot sells for more. Uh, like that definitely is not great. Uh... <laughs> All right, so let's see what do we what do we what do we have in here? There must be something, right? Because you can now actually craft. Oh, there it is! Pond planter. You need water buckets to be able to craft it. That is so cool. Okay, I need to go and craft myself a bunch of buckets. <laughs> all right, let's go over here and let's grab a bunch of water. And there it is, baby. All right, I got all the water. Let's see. Oh boy, pond planters. I want at least a hundred of them. There it is. Okay, so when I place that, dude, that is so weird. That looks so strange. So yeah, pretty much it's just like a tiny layer that you can kind of place like a carpet. But I assume that this is actually going to let you place rice, which is really cool. Now, guys, one thing that I do know right now is that I should not have taken down my giant berry farm because that would have actually been a great way for me to get some XP. <laughs> All right, so I'm just building a little thing right now so that I can actually like grind some more XP because, dude, I want to get that rice. I want to be able to check it out. That is so cool. All right, so I'm going to plant myself a bunch of star fruit right now because I think that is going to be the quickest way I'm actually going to be able to get some more XP. All right, let's start harvesting this stuff. I hope I'm going to be able to get... Okay, okay, all right. The levels are coming in. Yeah, that is what I wanted to see, baby. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. I think we'll actually get rice as soon as I've har harvested these uh, star fruits. Let's go, baby. 36. Come on. 37. 38. One more. One more. 39, baby. There it is. So one of the things I'm kind of confused about is seaweed because I actually am not able to find it in the shop. Also, another thing that's kind of 
of important to talk about is that I'm actually not able to find any kind of like rice totem or something, which means I, don't, I think that means they actually can't AFK farm this stuff, which is kind of crazy. Now it says that it should be a merchant offer, but I cannot find seaweed in here whatsoever. So uh, let's just get a bunch of rice. Oh my God, rice is expensive. A hundred rice seeds is 330,000 coins. That is crazy. Well, let's have a look. Wait, you can stack it? I don't know if this was intended. I have a feeling that this might have not been intended because I'm pretty sure you can put rice in there. Oh, I'm putting... Oh, wait, I can't put it in the bottom one right now. Okay, okay, so that actually doesn't work. Okay, good to know. Okay, do not break um uh the, the, the rice things because it actually doesn't give you any rice back. That is not good. <laughs> all right, there it is. Planting some rice right now. Let's go. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, now let's, uh, let's get all this stuff planted. And there it is. Everything's planted and it's starting to grow. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. Wait, it's ready to harvest already? Wait, there's two pieces of... Okay, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm getting rice. Dude, that is so cool. Okay, so I have 42 rice. Well, 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 guys, there it is. I guess that is a lot of the most interesting stuff out of the way. Now, I really want to get into cooking now. I mean, there is so many cool recipes and there's so much cool stuff to figure out. I mean, kind of feel like I have to. I mean, there are so many cool automatic ways of farming all of the different things in the game. I feel like you could make a pretty crazy automatic everything farm. Yeah. So I might just get into that at some point. But guys, until then, I'm going to be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. Please turn on that notification bell. But with that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.